Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Here to discuss expanding complex functions. Uh, well, something like this. And uh, best I'm going to go over uh, two methods here. And uh, you can decide which one you want to use. And uh, I find it pretty uh, useful to know both. So anyways, uh, if you have something like this, x plus h all cubed, then you want to expand this. And well, you could write these down as x plus h and x plus h and x plus h. H all yeah, so you could write it down like this is basically what it means. And now you could use the FOIL method to basically uh, do do these two right here. So you could just go FOIL this out. So this is the, would be the first method, and then you would multiply this by this, and then add it to this times this, and then do the same thing for this case. And you can see the video link below on the proof of this FOIL method. And if you were to add them up, then you'll do the second FOIL method later. So you'll go x squared plus uh, this is x times h so x h now plus this one uh, h times x or x times h and then plus h squared and as you can see these are the like terms right there and this x plus h so this would finally be x squared plus 2 x h uh, these add up plus h squared uh, times x plus h. Now you expand these out the exact same way, or multiply this by every single one, and this by every single one. Or you can see my alternative method of, of doing this part. If you were to do this method, you you could basically write this down here. x. Uh, this is 2h, 2xh, and then this h squared right here, just for, put a plus or not. Anyway, and then this is um, x, and this is an h. What you could do is multiply this. You can see uh, as well in the FOIL method video link below for this. It's pretty useful. So you just multiply this diagonally, multiply this x squared by this, and then this x squared by this xh. So you have x squared h, and then do this for this. Basically, make a matrix of this. So now we're gonna have two x squared h, and now similar two x h squared. This is by multiply by this, and now this one here h times h squared h cubed. And this is going to be a x h squared. And now you could basically add up all these terms, but the diagonals are always like terms. There's these x squared plus x squared times h, x squared h is x h squared, x h squared. So you could add these up, and you can quickly write down the final answer as x cubed plus uh, three. So this is going to be three x squared h, and then now plus three because they just add up the like terms. Three x h squared and I'm finally plus h cubed. So you could do it all in this way or the second method that you could do is well basically once again you're gonna write write this down as yeah basically write down as this uh, form right here x plus h times or cubed then it's basically separate three times like this multiplied all by itself. So now you could actually do a, an extended version of the uh, FOIL method. So what you could do is basically multiply this by this and then multiplied by this one here, and then we could add that part up to, instead of going to here, now we're gonna uh, add it up to uh, this one right here, or actually uh, draw it from here. So then then add it up to this, uh, times it by this, so we have an add up like that, and as well, so this arrow, this the final arrow would mean just add them up, and then extend this part again, so you go this times this, times this, add it to this times this, times this. And similarly for this one right here, and you would do the same thing for this first h. So we'll do that in a bit, but let's just go over these ones right here. So you could write this down as x. This can be an x times x times x. That's x cubed, plus now x times x, which is x squared times by now this h. So an h right there, and then a plus. Now we do the top part here, x h, and there's an x x squared, plus now x h h again. So x h squared and then we're gonna now yeah so now we've added those up uh, now we could put yeah, the next parts here so we'll, we can go do the exact same thing uh, here so this x times h and similar like that and like this and then similarly by the x right here and something like this and then we will get in this case now at add, add these final parts up plus h x x so we can go x squared h plus h uh, h x h so x h squared and then plus uh, over here now we go to the top part h h x so h squared we can put the x in front here just to make it all look uh, similar 
and now plus the final one h h and h so that's just h cubed and now these ones I just add up the like terms so the, the like terms x cu cubed now we look at this x squared h there is one two and three of these that's it so we're gonna have plus three x squared h and now now we look at x h squared there's one two and three so I have three x h squared and then finally plus h cubed so we have this in the exact same answer as this and there's a two methods and you decide which one to use this one this one is a uh, yeah this is pretty straightforward but this one just has a lot more writing and this one it just you have to find out where they are it's that's the only downfall but it's less writing and it's neater well anyways that's all for today if you learn from this uh, quick uh, tutorial on how to expand functions like this and this you can do the same thing for even if it's like say five terms and you're just gonna have a lot more of these random arrows here that you have to add up and it gets pretty complex and now if you were to go really complex numbers and you don't and you have a calculator or a computer at hand just go to mathportal.org and click on their expand and simplify calculator and you could just basically input this this one here any any uh, polynomial etc and you could just expand and you would get the answer that we got right here and i'll put this link as well in the in the drop box i mean basically in the uh I'll put this in the description below as well as these notes will be in the Dropbox link below and you can download these as well. Well, anyways, that's all for today and stay tuned for another math easy solution.